Hey there, this is Matt from SpeedScale. I want to talk to you real quick, quick about how to get started with recording traffic in SpeedScale. Now, the easiest way to replicate an environment is to observe the environment and build a model of it. So we try to encourage our customers to deploy things like a sidecar or a collector to some environment that we can watch. It is possible to build an environment uh, by hand using either scripting or by curating data like if you have a new service, totally possible to do that, but we recommend recording first because it's always easier to work off the draft than it is to start from scratch. Now, once you get a collector or sidecar deployed, you will be able to do things like look into the traffic. So it, it provides you a bunch of monitoring visibility right out of the box that you don't usually get with any monitoring tool that you might have today. Second thing is it allows you to replicate the current state of an environment into a CI pipeline. And then it also allows you to bring it back to your developer desktop, but it all starts with that recording. Now, what is the best way to get started? It depends on what you're coming from. Now, if you're used to using uh, platform engineering tools, you're used to observability, you're used to infrastructure, then deploying to Kubernetes or ECS or whatnot is going to feel pretty natural because you're going to be used to editing YAMLs. This is by far the simplest way to deploy SpeedScale because once you deploy our Helm chart, everything can be point and clicked afterwards. So that's sort of our recommended gold standard, which is to start with a sidecar installation. Now, to get that started, you simply click Add Service and then select your environment. We'll just pick EKS in this example. And then it tells, shows you how to go and deploy an operator. And then it, got, it goes through a custom UI for actually adding instrumentation and adding the sidecars. You can find another video of that elsewhere. But that's the general idea. Now, if you don't come from a DevOps background or an infrastructure background, you might be kind of confused by all this uh, YAMLs and things like that. In that case, you might be used to more traditional testing tools. Now, for those scenarios, you might want to take a different approach. You might want to start from an existing collection of requests, like a Postman request, or perhaps in, in, uh, import service box from some other tool. If you have a Postman collection, it's a new service, or you're just not comfortable deploying a sidecar, you can just hit side, uh, start, and then you can go and you can import your existing Postman collection, and that can be the start of your traffic. So you can do that if you're a tester and that's what you're used to, no problem. Now. The other, another approach you can take is actually just to record off your local desktop. So let's say you have an API client or some other sort of mechanism um, you know, running on your local desktop. You can actually use the speed cuddle or speed CTL desktop command, and that will allow you to record locally just by rerouting your uh, HTTP and HTTPS proxies. Um, that's also very useful if you just don't want to get into uh, dealing with an external environment. Now, if your truck, let's say you drive a truck and you like off-road, then you may want to actually create your own snapshots using APIs uh, and custom curating and constructing JSONs. That is certainly open to you too, and we support all of that. Now, for most users, the simplest way to get started with SpeedScale is to deploy the collector. But we support a wide variety of import and export mechanisms. Um, we're not trying to keep you locked in. We'll take data from any source that you have. We have a, mi you know, a million different importers and collectors. If you don't see what you're looking for, then go ahead and hit us up on the SpeedScale community, and we'll be happy to help out. Thank you very much. Hope this was helpful.